Hello everyone, we're going to be doing some live fire with this primary arms 1 to 10 uh, by 28 scope. Now this is a second focal plane scope uh, and I do have in here a 22 conversion bolt uh, because that's going to allow us to shoot the steel up close and also take advantage of the bullet drop compensator. And also we're also going to be using the auto ranging because as I zoom in over here, we see Batman. Okay. So but now his thing in order for the auto ranging to be any good, um, yeah, you have to be in max magnification. So when I zoom up to max magnification, I get on Batman. Well, he's also kind of squatting over there. So that's not gonna help us because yeah, it's showing us that he's inside of 300 yards, but his knees are bent. So let's try to go across the chest. Uh, if we go across the chest. Yeah, he's definitely inside of 400 yards. But is he at 200 or is he at 300? It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I think the the width of that that horseshoe is at 200 yards. So basically, I would use the tip of the chevron. We're not going to shoot Batman because my kids want their toys back. Okay, but I'm going to transition over to where are we? that's target right there. Hits on that. Okay. So let's zoom back and let's go further out. All right, so here we go. We got we got Iron Man over there. So again, he's sitting in the snow, so we can't use full length. We can use the half length, and we can see that yeah, he's from the belt up. He's at about 400 yards. Okay, so if we also cross check, cross verify against the chest. Yeah, that also shows us 400 yards. So that's our point of aim. So let's transition that to the target over there. All right, so that works over there. Zoom back. Now, here's the thing. I like to zoom back and forth as I'm hunting for these targets. All right, so a lot of times as I zoom back and forth, I don't go all the way up to, to 10, which throws off the bullet drop and the auto ranging, right? Because if I go to Iron Man here, right, we said that from the belt up, Okay, he's at 400, but if I'm a little further back, well, now all of a sudden he looks like he's like, you know, further than 500 away, right? So you got to be zoomed all the way in for the auto ranging to be any good. And as I zoom back and forth, there's plenty of times where I made that mistake where I didn't zoom all the way up to 10, like I was at 8. All right, so let's see where the next guy is. I think there's some. Let's see, do we have anybody there? I think I saw somebody over there. Can't find him. Can't find him. Wait. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, we can see his head. Uh, we're going to have to go based on the shoulders. 400. Yeah, he's at 500. We're going to match that one up right there. So we're going to transition that to the target. Get the hits. Okay, excellent. Let's go back. Let's go a little further back. Okay, what do we got back there? We got floor back there. Okay. So Thor, let's use the, so he's further than 500. So where exactly is he? Well, we can kind of see the full height. Let's go to 400 and we can see, we're going to use the half measure. So he's half of four. So that puts him at 800. So I know um, from my previous experience that that would be the 10 mil line right there. So I'm going to use the 10 mil line. Let's take some hits on this target. See, maybe I went to go too far. No, I can't. You know, I think the I got my earmuffs on. I can't hear the hits. So that's that's the for eight hundred. That's the hold that we would use. That 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 uh, ten bar right there. Okay. So using these toys, it's a good way to practice your auto ranging. The only thing is, you gotta be aware that you gotta be in max in max uh, magnification in order for the auto ranging and also for your bullet drop uh, to be true. If you're in anything other than um, max magnification, uh, I mean, you're gonna be off. So yes, match him up to the chest, transition to the target. Okay. Let's get another mag in here. 
All right, let's go back to one power, just do a little CQB work. Zoom up a little bit. So the, the tip of the Chevron is accurate in all magnifications. And, and the horseshoe as a whole, right? So you can center on the horseshoe as a whole. And that's going to be accurate at all magnifications. Okay. So same thing here. If I was to go a little further. Well, if I go further back again, I'm using a 22. So the, see, the 22 has a drop. So if I, I can't use the tip of the Chevron there, I actually have to use it. Kind of, it's kind of cool how it lines up. But here's the thing. Like right now, I know that I should be using the 4 at that distance. However, I'm at 3 power. So I got to zoom up all the way to 10. So here's the thing. You see at 3 power? See, this is my hold over, my hold, right, at at uh, max. But if I'm at 3 power, oops, hold on. Let's go back to that. Hold the gun steady. All right. So if I hold the gun steady and I zoom back, well, now I'm going to be over the target. So that's one of the things where I sometimes get kind of like mixed up or, or, or I just forget. I forgot to go all the way up to 10 power. So that one over there, we have him at, I think, let's find him again. So he's at, I said, about 500 yards. That's our hold right there. You can hear the dings. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this is a $450 scope that has lots of features. It really allows us to uh, make use of the auto ranging features. And um, you know, like if you got like realistic, like like these toys over here, they're about 12 inches tall. Uh, you're able to use the toys to practice the range estimating. And using 22s is great because, because here's the thing, inside of 100 yards or inside of 200 yards, I can really make use of the of, of the mill grid. So the only the only drawback to the second focal plane scope is that I have to be in 10 magnification because as I zoom in, what happens is none of that's true. Like none of those holds are are true. And this also has leads on it. So for example, if Batman, let's say we got Batman over there, right? Where is he? If he were to start running, let's say to the left. Well, if you were, you know, if you were, if you were running, I would use that black dot to lead him, right there. If you were running, if you were jogging, I would use the middle one. If you were walking, I'd use that one. Let's go a little further back. Well, he's sitting, so he's not. But let's say if he gets up and he starts running to to the right, right? Got to go to max magnification. If he starts running to the right, I would lead him with that black dot right there. If he's jogging, I would lead him with that one. If he's walking, I would lead him with that one. So this has the, 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 now, of course, somebody could be moving diagonally. So that will also throw things off if he's moving diagonally. But here's the thing. If you shoot ahead of somebody, right, let's say this guy st gets up and starts running to the right. And I start leading him there. And, and he starts seeing bullets dropping in front of him. And I, he's going to stop running forward if he sees bullets landing in front of him. And when he stops running, you know, then you put your hold on him. So we know that he's at four. So that's the hold I would use right there. So for $450, you get a really uh, a, a feature-rich scope here that goes all the way up to 10x. Um, and it allows you to practice lots of things. You can practice milling. You know, you got the mill grid underneath. The way you use that mill grid is like a, um, uh, it's almost like a map. So let's say, I'm, let's go back to this guy over here. So if I take my shots, right? So I know I got to be on four. But let's say the wind's blowing my shots, let's say two dots over to the right. And I see my bullet's impact two dots over to the right well then i would just transition that dot to the target or if i see it's just one dot i would transition so wherever wherever you see the impacts whatever dot you see the impact on that you transition that dot to your target um so this is an excellent scope um again i, I wish uh, primary arms would make a, a first focal place a first focal plane version of this that had all these features uh you know in that four to five hundred dollar range